Yeah, my presentation consists of seven parts. Education system in Tanzania, I will explain in education for employment, achievements in skills development, challenges in skills development, and the way forward, and I will end with conclusion. Introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the United Republic of Tanzania is geographically located in East Africa. Tanzania was formed in 1964 by unifying the Indian Ocean Islands of Zimbabwe and the Pemba and the mainland country formerly known as Tanganyika. Tanzania covers an area of 945 200 square kilometers with an estimated population of about 45 million people. Tanzania borders with eight countries, namely Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Congo DLC, Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique, and the Indian Ocean, as shown on the map. Agriculture is the major economic activity that employs majority of Tanzanians education system in Tanzania. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tanzania education system is composed of general education system of two years for pre-primary education, seven years for primary education, four years for secondary education, two years for high level, and the three years and above for higher education, that is colleges, and the universities. Technical vocational education and the training system is of two to seven years for craftsmen, four years for technicians, and three years for above to the technologists. In Tanzania, technical education and the training covers the training of craftsmen, technicians, engineers, and other technologists. TVET is offered by public, private, private and non-government institutions. Quality controls and assurance and certification of institutions and approval of programs is done by Vocational Education and Training Authority, I mean VETA, at the craftsman level, and the NACTE, which is National Council for Technical Education, is done for technicians, and the engineers. Skills development policies. In Tanzania, to ensure that education and training meets employment needs, the following policies have been developed and implemented. implemented. One, vocational education and training policy of 1993, education and training policy of 1995, Technical Education and Training Policy of 1996, and the National Employment Policy of 2008. Other documents which ensure association between education and employment in Tanzania include the Tanzania Vision 2025, the National Strategy for Growth and the Reduction of Poverty, in Swahili we say Mkukuta, the Millennium Development Goals, but currently, the edu education training policy of 1995 and the TVT policies are being leveled to address recent social, economic, technological, and uh, environmental changes. Education for Employment Project, EFE. In order to ensure that education and training meets employment needs, the following initiatives have been implemented in Tanzania. First, the establishment of education for employment project in collaboration with Association of Canadian Community Colleges, which is funded by CEDA. Secondly, the education for employment project covers mining sectors, tourism, and agriculture subsectors which are major drivers of the economy. In this education for employment,
there are some achievements. So far, in Tanzania, in the span of three years of implementation of this project, the following achievements have been realized. In Tanzania, we have already conducted capacity building for our trainers in competence-based education and training practices and the labor market information analysis. Also, we have established and strengthened linkages between industrial employers and institutions. The private sector is involved in training the institutions on issues related to private sector's needs. And also, some other achievements in this project includes a workshop to build the capacity of TVT managers and the staff in relationship and the entrepreneurs' TVT system. Facilitated the partnerships between Canadian and the Tanzanian institutions and the strengthened active working relationships between the two regulatory bodies, I mean the National Council for Technical Education, NACTE, and the VETA, which is Vocational Education and the Training Authority. Other initiatives like uh, initiatives taken to ensure that education and training meets employment needs, which include the adoption of competency-based curricula in all TV institutions, developed a vertical progression pathway or awards for students in TV institutions, the development of TVET qualification framework, which is divided into two parts as follows. One, we provide national vocation awards to level one up to level three, which is awarded by VETA, and enacted awards, national technical awards, level four up to level eight. But from level nine up to level 12, we award uh, higher diploma, and a bachelor degrees. But also, NACTE awards master degrees and a doctorate degrees. Other initiatives include establishment of district vocational and training centers, and the establishment of national vocational training and the services centers for purpose of developing skills for vocation in Tanzania. Apart from this success, but also we face some challenges in our country. Challenges we face the TVT system in developing skills for vocation in Tanzania include inadequate enrollment capacity of TVT institutions due to expansion in primary and the secondary education. Cost implications running competency-based education and the training needs for practical learning materials which are very expensive, needs for new equipment caused by rapid change of technology, also trainers of TV institutions lacking competence-based education and the training delivery skills, lack of labor market study skills among the TV trainers which is necessary for development of demand-driven curriculum. Other challenges are uh, reluctance of industries to participate in CBET by not offering field attachments to TVT tutors. Also, not offering field attachment to students pursuing TVT programs. Outdated and almost old fashioned equipment, as I've already mentioned, that is to say that training equipment are not based on competence building for the learners and a shortage of teaching and learning material in our colleges. Way forward. In order to ensure that education and training in Tanzania meets the employment needs, the following suggestions should be implemented in Tanzania. First, to finalize the review process and the implementation of the TVT policy. Secondly, the implementation of a TVET development program. Thirdly, to strengthen and the linkages between training institutions and the industries. Also, we should also 
reinforce labor market information skills of TVET staff, and the last but not least is to, to strengthen participation of employers in the curricular development process. Ladies and gentlemen, I conclude that since taking a vocational education and training system have a big role in developing skills for vocation, there is need to review, upgrade, and modify TVET system in order to stay relevant to the needs of the school graduates, industries, and the community at large. Thank you very much for your attention.